Okay, so let's have a look. In this video, we're going to look at the fact that we're actually a program in Python. So we can use any of the other um, features or functions of Python that we've used in our previous lessons. So we're going to play around with this a little bit here. For example, what we're going to do, we're going to start, we're going to still stick with, well, the, the framework that we had before. But instead of choosing a particular setting or determining a particular color, we're going to instead uh, randomly generate one. So to do that, I'm going to create a function. Radio called pick random, I don't know, maybe color would be a good name for the function. Radio. It doesn't accept anything. It doesn't need any parameters put in there. Radio. And then this function, what it's going to do is going to choose a random um, value for red. Remember RGB, so red, green, blue is the three parts that make up a particular color. And that's going to return, now I need to return what's called a rand int, so a random integer between 0 and 255. But random int is not part which is part of the standard Python um, um, setup. So what we need to do is we need to again import that command from the random module. So from random import rand int. So now I should be able to use this command and it should be okay with me using it. Just the same as we did with sleep before. Right, so I've got a random red color. I need a random um, RGB, so green uh, equals rand int. So a random green value. Um, and then finally, I need a random um, blue. Okay, and again, that's going to be rand int, return me an integer, a whole number between 0 and 255. So I've got all those, got those three variables. The next thing I need to do, I need to then actually return those values back to when it's being called. And you remember that when we did the colors, it was the RGB in brackets with the comma in between us. So that's what we actually need to return. We need to return a tuple, it's called. Um, so use the return command. And then I need to open the bracket and say the random, I'm uh, sorry, random um, red value. And then I need the random green value and then random blue value. Okay, so those three are all being returned back. And what I need to do now is I need to come down and each of these um, variables here, I need to replace them from our previous one. So instead of putting just a red value in, I'm going to say, no, I want you to pick um, random color, open close brackets, right? I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to replace each one of these color variables here. Okay, so here we are. We're going along with doing this. Um, what I want you to do, there's one last thing I'm going to do is just to save us having this continuously flashing at the end. I'm going to get in the habit of saying at the end, um, sense.clear, which will just turn the screen off. Okay, so here we are. This is what we've got set up now. I've now got a function in here each time that we call a letter. It is going to, each time we call a letter here, it's going to ask for a random color and it's going to display it. So I'm going to pause, I want you to pause this now. I want you to predict, write down a prediction. What do you think is going to happen when you press run? Don't cheat. I want you to actually do that. Actually do the pause and have a think about it. And then once you've actually thought about it, um, then run the program and see if it does what you think it's going to do. So let's see. We'll let's run it and see if it does what we think it's going to do. And it's given me an error because what have I done here? Um, I haven't, oh, ran it rather than ran int. So I bet you didn't predict there was a typo there. Well, maybe you did. Well done. Okay, let's run that again. And here it is. It's going through and it's just choosing a random color each time. It's a bit hard to see again with that display, but we'll try it again. And each time the color is a little bit different. Okay, so if that's what you picked, well done. Now have a bit of play around yourself. Again, make it a different character or a different value that goes in the different statement is play around with the numbers. Um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next video.